You've arrived in Istanbul. Respect. What an airport. It's so bloody big that wherever you land, by the time you get to the passport control, it takes like at least 15 minutes. It just tells you, shows you how big this, this bloody airport is. Or <laughs> I've been unlucky every time I've landed here. We've landed on the other side of the airport. Uh, but we're here. Uh, to get our luggage now. A uh, couple of things. The best time to travel, this is my travel tip to Istanbul, number one. The best time to travel to Istanbul is uh, April and May, without doubt. It's quiet, weather is the best, in my opinion. I mean, the two periods where the weather is here is the best is April, May, um, and October, November. Uh, but definitely recommend visiting here during these times. It's not so crowded and crazy and busy. Anyway, that's my tip for the day. Let's go and get our luggage. The thing when it's not busy is that you can actually enjoy your time uh, because uh, those who have been to Istanbul before, it, is, it does get really crazy. Um, but April, May is just perfect. Weather is amazing as well. Uh, so that's my tip for the day. Let me get our luggage. Let's explore uh, for visiting Istanbul in relation to do I rent a car or do I take a taxi? The reality is, is that driving your own car makes life so much easier, but just be aware of the bloody traffic. There's so much traffic here, uh, particularly in hotspots, uh, parts of Istanbul. So whilst on the one hand, having your own car uh, is actually better, um, less stress um, and easily accessible, uh, but take into account traffic. The other issue is, is that in Istanbul, when it comes to deciding between renting a car um, and using the taxi service, is parking. Parking here, particularly in, in, in tourist areas, can be quite expensive um, and very difficult to find. So take these points into account. But for me, I always rent when I come here. And the number one reason is because I, I can't deal with the um, uh, Turkish uh, taxi drivers, which we'll come to in terms of my tips um, and advice in relation to uh, taking a taxi. So when you enter a taxi, it's your right, and please make sure that the meter is on. If the taxi driver does not turn the meter on, just tell him to stop the car, open the doors and walk out. Don't even bother, because they're going to charge you two, three times the amount that they should do. Um, most taxi drivers here unfortunately take advantage of tourists and will tell them every single trick in the book that in this area that I'm going to or in this area that I'm picking you up uh, from um, uh, taxi meters don't apply um, and they're off. This is all lies. The simple truth is, is that in Istanbul, taxi driver has to turn on the meter. If they don't, as you enter or uh, you sit in the vehicle, tell him that you want to leave. In terms of taxi drivers, that you need to be aware of is make sure that if you're traveling between the Asian and the European side, uh, that um, you don't get fooled by the extra charge they charge for toll fees. There is only one toll fee and it's one way only. Most taxi drivers will charge you for both ways. Reject, and if they start arguing with you, tell the guys to stop the taxi and that you want to leave between the Asian and the European side don't get forward um, I put links in the caption of the sites that you can check the latest toll fees for bridges and for tunnels do not get charged twice and do not fall for the tricks that the taxi drivers say that uh, we have to drop you and then come back empty and we have to charge you both ways it's all lies I will also share with you a number which is the whatsapp number uh, an email address for the Turkish Taxi Complaints Authority. So any issue you have with any taxi, uh, you can send them a message and they'll deal with it. All you need to do is make sure whenever you enter into a taxi, the first thing you should do, uh, other than seeing that they turn on the meter, is that on the dashboard, they have their taxi uh, license ID number. Always take a picture. I do that all the time. As soon as I enter, I take a picture. And I also take a picture of the license plate. But unfortunately in Istanbul, I've faced many challenges with taxi drivers where we end up in actually uh, arguments and quite serious sometimes. And that's one of the reasons why I personally always take to uh, drive 
uh, my own vehicle and rent a car. Yes, it's got some challenges in terms of finding parking spaces, but also uh, I will share links in my caption um, of government uh, operated and managed uh, parking lots, which are much, much cheaper and safer. So follow my advice and I'm sure you'll make the right decision. In relation to whether I should use Uber and other uh, taxi apps, yes, they're amazing. They're really good because you know what you're getting yourself into uh, before you enter that taxi. But the trick is in Istanbul is that as soon as you make a request on Uber, they will send you a message within the Uber app and say, I'm on my way, but it's traffic as usual. They always say that. Um, and it's gonna, it's gonna be instead of like, for example, uh, 50 lira is gonna be 200 lira. They charge you three, four times the price. And um, in many cases, um, tourists fall for it. Um, they don't know, um, but the reality is, is that that's why we have Uber because the app itself, itself takes into account all road and traffic conditions and then sets the price. So that's the price that you should be paying. So don't fall for that trick when using Uber and other taxi apps. You only pay what the app says. If they contact you and tell you otherwise and give you all these excuses, just completely ignore it, uh, cancel the ride and report them. This is my tip of the day, tip two. Uh, tip one was giving you advice when you should travel to Turkey. Tip two is in relation to transportation and traveling around. Um, I will also, in my caption, give you uh, links to a car rental agency called Green Motion. Uh, for me, they're the best. I always use them. Great service, great pricing, very reasonable. Um, and it's all down to you, making that choice that suits you and your needs. But just be aware of all the scams that go on. Um, because unfortunately, it does happen in Istanbul. For Istanbul, particularly when you arrive at the airport, trolleys are not free. You have to come to one of these devices and pay 20 Turkish lira or 1 euro. Um, and then you can pull out one of these uh, trolleys. So make sure you plan ahead and you have a credit card uh, or you have uh, cash. Uh, to be able to use these machines. Traveling to Istanbul, don't go anywhere where tour guides tell you to go and eat. Um, and try to avoid tourist destinations uh, for eating. For example, Taksim. Yes, Taksim has a vibrancy and it's full of life and it's always happening and it's active and so on and so forth. And it has its unique, if you like, selling point. Uh, but my advice is, is follow my uh, blog, my vlog, uh, my page, and find the best parts of Istanbul to go and eat. Of course, naturally, I can't make every single recommendation because there's so many options, so many great places to, to eat and dine out and explore. But I'm giving you a snapshot, um, and hopefully I can give you a different perspective of the food scene here. Avoid tourist destinations. Go to places where no tourists will visit. My easiest tip is, is that when you go into a restaurant, if you see there's locals there, then you know you're on a winner. Uh, if you go to a place where you see mostly tourists, then walk out. So follow me on my journey of the best of Istanbul, where I'm going to, going to share with you the best places to eat out and all my tips for travelers who are looking to visit Istanbul.